world of champions is happy to have you. Good morning and welcome back to the northwestern northwestern part of Ethiopia as match day 23 of the Bet King Ethiopian Premier League takes center stage here on your world of champions. It is the big one. It is a top three clash. St. George up against Wolai Sadicha. The table leaders and Zerihun Shengata but with the third placed side from Sodo as two of the biggest giants in the league this season clash for not just maximum points but pride and... Budepepe trying to suddenly find Kalkid and Zeralim. been a long time, a really long time since St. George last had their hands on the crown. You've got to go back to 2018. Since then they have seen their crown occupied by different sides. Uh, that is never nice. They haven't loved it every single bit. From Jima to Mekele to Fasil. They're sitting in a disabled but is, this is their time to get it back. doing the permutations and uh, the highest that St. George can be able to go is 74. Light a teacher can go to 59. Fans are watching. Well, the whole nation, the whole nation has come to a standstill. For the, the adrenaline levels, not only on the St. George players, but also on all the fans who are very, very anticipatory. Hendrik Seyi, standing over this one, floats one just into the box, a very good ball. And almost messed up and the referee blowing his whistle, uh, suggesting that will be a free kick. Teko De Bebe handles the ball and uh, picks up a cut. Uh, that's a second yellow card being handed over to Olaita Dicha, even though the other was to Yari Dawit, who now has six left. Teko De Bebe trying to recreate Diego Maradona in Baherja today. Oh, it's been given away. This is Kenard Martinez inside the area. By Anthony Looked at Stump, and the referee was quite close to it. Then George had the player on the ground. As the touch, that was with Hapsap Negusie. to have uh, had a clash and a real stop on his foot. The referee saw it twice and then decided not to make a decision. Take the baby. Take the baby, a.k.a. Diego Armando. <laughs> wow. He's one of the most experienced players out there, if not the most experienced. He really is the most decorated St. George player, by the way, having won 10 out of 14 titles. And today he's up against his former side. He has so much to prove, doesn't he? Oh, he has. He has age, not with him, but you can't really tell because he's got very, very good accessory uh, skills. He knows exactly what to do. He has very, very good technique. He has very good insight. He's the commander in chief. Very good communication. It's a bit of a disciplinary problem though at Wolaita Dicha. That yellow card to Debo De Bebe means it's his fifth. He will miss the next game. So will Yared Dawit. Just to remind you, Simon Merritt, the first choice goalkeeper too, is suspended for today's game. Henki Dani Mariam has more work to do on the temperament of his players. To the center, he's looking for Yapsi Ratesfai. Allowed to turn just ahead of Miyiru Wondimu. Turning in on the action is Cherry Net. The three are giants that have been a foul. Make sure they got to get Brazil. I think he's happy with that decision, just like in this day. They fully do not understand. Shabir decision. Uh, the both sides then going for and bragging rights. Nyiri Wondimo 
Trying to go past one, goes past two, gets a return. Menyere Wandemo, here is the Kalkidan! Oh, Kalkidan Zaralem! Eight minutes on the clock. And has missed the biggest chance to give to Guy Kidada Mariam's side a very, very early lead here. Well, surely, talk about just being in the kitchen, preparing everything. You know, the food is ready. Minyulu is bringing the food on the table. And only thing that Kalkidan Zelalem needs to do is just wash his hands, pick his spot and put that ball in the right spot. That is the first time that they're proving to be extremely dangerous, especially on the counter-attacks. Yeah, central defender is the third top scorer. <laughs> Quite interesting. Here he comes. Three for Metro! Biniam Benet saves! Biniam Ganachu saw this one coming so close with so much power behind it. Uh, that is what you expect from your stopper. Well, he was just at the right spot. Really, he was at the right spot. Cherinet Guksa again. This is Haida Sharifa throwing this one out to Suleiman! Big strike and big save from Biniam Ganetu. Corner kick for St. George. He was running in at the far side. Uh, the Walaita Ditcha backline saw him quite late. Uh, they'll be very, very lucky that Biniam Ganetu had his eyes on this one. Nukadunya floats a bigger one into the area. And it's again did fall to Emmanuel Gabriel Mikhail, forcing another huge save from Biniam. He's serving everything coming his way. And Zarion Chengata's side are unrelenting here. Again, another well floated there by Dunya. And the timing of the run by none other than Emmanuel Gibri Mikhail. Surely he should have put that ball behind backs. That's a great ball out wide. Looking for Kalkid and Zerarem. Binyam Fikre is an option inside that area. This could be the moment for Binyam Fikre. Of the bench and Biniam Fikre is we could have given Walaita Ditcha the lead here. Well, the best pass is from Minyilu Ondimo. He finds Kalkidam Zelalem wide. Of course, Kalkidam just tried to bring Minyot the baby, turning him out. Again, that pass to the man who has just come on the board, Biniam Fikre. He should have, he should have buried that one. He really he should have buried that one. That was just a good pass. Here comes Walaita Dicha now. Could this be the moment? Closely tracked by Heno Kadunya. Chance to bring one into the area to Biniam Fikre. Minyuri Wandemo! Charles Lukwago serves again. Big chance to Walaita Dicha. It's a guy Kidada Mariam disappointed in the touchline. They could be two nil down. This St. George side. Minyiri Wondimu picks it out on the right, brings across into the area. Kalkidan Zelalem out wide. A bit too late for that one. And there's going to continue being a lot of problems for St. George. Because as long as you have your two wing backs moving high up, Hamide and Eno Kadunya moving up, then they have to make quick recovery. Two good battles out wide and a few challenges. Natanel Zaleke looking for Jerry Natchkuksa. Now a big chance out wide. Could this be the moment? The uh, goalkeeper quickly was off his line. Biniam Ganetu. Well, deal darling by the Walaita DJ defense line. Another well floated ball there. Dropped down for Dagmawi Araya. But again, Biniam Ganetu just coming in, closing him down and saving Walaita DJ from conceding in the last few minutes of the game. What a match. And there is the full-time whistle. St. George have dropped points. The fans will applaud because they still hold a big lead at the top. Walaita well, Dicha have reduced their gap between them and Fasil Kenema to just four. But St. George for now have increased their lead at the top to 11 with Fasil Kenema having a game to spare. Full time from the Baherda International Stadium, Zerihun Shengata Neil, Sagai Kidane Mariam Neil.